All right, Coach, would you start off with your name and school? Rick Bird, Belmont University. And please just give us a couple of thoughts about the season coming going forward. Oh, we're, we're really excited at Belmont to, uh, uh, to participate in the OVC for our first year, and our, our fans are obviously excited. I heard it all off season. So uh, it, it's still, still a couple of months. We've got to play a whole lot of folks before we get in the OVC. But uh, I think there's going to be a lot of enthusiasm around uh, our program uh, in terms of uh, OVC competition. What do you like most about <coughs> Excuse forward? me. <coughs> I, I like our uh, backcourt. I like uh, the experience we have. When you have two senior guards, uh, two guys that have been, um, I'm going to have to clear my throat, sorry. sorry. <coughs> I just had one out there. I don't know why. I'm <coughs> Can I start over on that one? OK, thank you. Um, the thing I like most about our program, or at least should be our strength, is the experience we have with guard positions. And Ian Clark and Karan Johnson are two uh, all Atlantic Sun first team selections, and then also preseason OVC selections. And uh, you're real fortunate as a coach when you've got guys that have, that are handling the ball, <clears throat> making decisions uh, about. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> this this doesn't rarely, you know. It, it's probably. Pra Sorry, we practiced this morning. We practiced this morning, yeah. and I suspect I, had to at him a bit. I didn't holler too much, really. <laughs> You're just getting choked up. You're so excited for the year. Yeah, right? I guess. I don't know. Thank you. Good. You want me to start from scratch on that one? We're going to run over into the, all the rest of the things the way I'm going. You're the last one, so you can start as long as you buy it. It's all up. Uh, well, yeah, I, I will just start on the on the guards, you know, on that part. I think the thing that's our strength this year, our, our guard play, uh, Ian Clark and Karan Johnson are seniors. They've enjoyed a lot of success in the Atlantic Sun. Their preseason picks in, in the OVC is all-conference players. And any coach will tell you when they've got uh, experience at the guard position uh, and quality of play, they've got to feel pretty good. What do you feel like your biggest challenges are going to be this season? Our biggest challenge, without a question, is going to be inside. We, uh, we lost two really good post players, and uh, we don't have uh, the quality, proven quality of play, uh, experience, or the depth at that position I'd like to have. In, in your first year in the conference, how do you, what do you think about the conference as a whole? You know, I, a lot of people have asked me if I've been watching a lot of video of other teams and so on, and, and really it's so long till we play those games. I, I, have, I have a little bit of an outsider's view, and obviously we have played some schools in the past. We've, we've played Tennessee State, we've played Austin P a a lot, we've played Murray State in the past. I'm totally familiar with the, with the tradition of Murray State's program and then the, the, the recent tremendous success of their program. Uh, Dave Luce has had great teams at Austin P for a long time. Tennessee State's team is, is rising, and they return a lot of those same guys. Uh, so, you know, every league offers its challenges, and, uh, and, and this is going to be a learning year for us. Looking at the divisions on paper, how do you feel that that type of play will affect the league going forward? You know, it's hard to say. We were in the Atlantic Sun, we were, we were divisional play one time. Um, what I don't like about divisional play is people don't have the same exact schedule, and that that makes fairness almost in total fairness almost impossible. Uh, uh, but it is what it is, and uh, and so you just go through it. And sometimes it works out to your benefit, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but it will be interesting to see. I think. From a competitive standpoint, only having to play Murray State once. Austin Peay's tradition once, you could look at it and say that's a good thing. Uh, from, from the standpoint of fan interest, not getting to have those people come to your gym, uh, but every other year is, is a little disappointing as well. What do you think it, it will take for your team <coughs> to attain all these goals this season? Well, we'll have, to have, we'll have to have better inside play, as I've mentioned. Uh, some guys are going to have to improve dramatically. We've got a, a four-man that's going to play the five spot for us this year. Uh, uh, 
and we've got to have some guys that have played sort of um, uh, support roles for us uh, become outstanding players. And, and, but every coach could answer it pretty much that way. The guys that, that they didn't count on last year but have another year under their belt, somebody needs to come through, burst through, and become an all-conference kind of player. And uh, would you just give us a little bit of insight into your non-conference schedule? It's hard. Um, our non-conference schedule is pretty difficult this year. We play, uh, play at Kansas and we play at Stanford. We play in the, the, the Great Alaska Shootout, which is going to be, I think, enjoyable and interesting and a long trip and a cold one. Uh, but we've added, we're playing Middle Tennessee State, which we play every year and everybody knows how good they were a year ago. Play our, our, our traditional rival Lipscomb twice. Uh, but we've added two really good teams. Uh, in addition, we're, we're playing at VCU, and South Dakota State is coming to our place. Uh, tournament teams with a lot of people back. Um, we think playing good people makes our team better. It might not make your record as good as you'd like it, but we think it makes you better come January and February. Well, we wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you.